Have you ever wondered about the vast spectrum of interpretations within different sects of Christianity? Let's delve into this intriguing subject. Today, we're focusing on different preachers and their teachings, spotlighting the discrepancies and their implications. A fascinating case in point is the Iglesia Ni Cristo of Manalo, or NCM, whose interpretation of the Bible has stirred up quite a bit of debate. This group, like many others, aspires to be teachers of the law, yet their understanding of the scriptures has been called into question. Consider a statement from an article in their official publication, The Pasugo. They interpret Romans 16.16, 16, which commands believers to salute one another with a holy kiss. The churches of Christ salute you to mean that they should greet each other with the name of their church, Iglesia Ni Cristo. However, this interpretation appears to diverge significantly from the traditionally accepted understanding. The verse's primary intent, as understood by many, is to encourage brethren to greet each other with a holy kiss, not a salutation bearing the name of a specific church. This discrepancy is not unique to the NCM. Many other sects and groups within Christianity have their own unique interpretations of various biblical passages. The Apostle Paul, in his letter to the Corinthians, also emphasizes the instruction to greet ye one another with an holy kiss. This practice was prevalent among brethren in Rome, Corinth, Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia. The Apostle Peter, in his letter to the persecuted followers scattered across these regions, reiterated this instruction, encouraging them to greet ye one another with a kiss of charity. The Thessalonians too received a similar instruction, underlining the widespread acceptance of this practice across different Christian communities. Yet the NCM's interpretation deviates from this norm, offering a fascinating glimpse into the myriad ways the Bible is understood and applied. The Holy Kiss is another intriguing aspect where interpretations diverge. While most Christian communities understand it as a symbol of love and unity, the NCM's interpretation remains unclear. They have referred to the explanation provided in the Wycliffe Bible Commentary, instead of offering their own interpretation, which underscores the complexities and challenges inherent in interpreting religious texts. In conclusion, while these discrepancies may seem confusing or even contradictory, they serve to illustrate the multifaceted nature of religious interpretation. They remind us that religious texts, though universal in their messages, are understood and applied in diverse ways across different cultures, communities, and groups. If you found this exploration of religious interpretation intriguing, don't hesitate to subscribe and turn on notifications for more content like this. Every perspective adds a new layer to our understanding, and we look forward to sharing more insights with you. Until next time, keep questioning, keep exploring, and remember, understanding begins with conversation.